Hi, if you want to copy and format code nicely in, in Keynote, uh, there is a way. So let's say if I just want to copy and format this code, and if I copy it around, uh, I will not see what I will what I want. Even if I paid some paste somewhere else, uh, it will not save as what I wanted. Instead, I can use something. So I have already made a command, a shell command. So which is called key code, and then I put the format and then the name of uh, the language and then if I just put here and then you can see that we we get exactly what we wanted I, I can now also increase the font size to whatever I want and it will stay the same the way I wanted in the beginning even if I get rid of this so I can even increase the font a bit more and then I can resize it as I want. So that's good. But if, if I, I have a certain type of theme applied and I can do something else as well. So imagine I want a certain type of input. I can do the same here. I, I can copy it. But now in my code, I, I don't want it to be Python. I just want to have a certain format of JSON. I will increase the size to 14. And then I go back in the keynote and I can just paste it. And again, we have it. So we maintain the same style that we wanted. We can further increase the font as well if we want. Uh, we can shift it down a bit. So how can we do that? So this is all possible by using a simple uh, application that is called Highlight. So, so the main website is here. You can install it using Brio install Highlight. Once you have it in, in there, you can make so you can edit uh, the patch file. And then here, what you need to do is to add, add these lines. So for example, I have created a function which is called key code. And then in here, you it will use this command which is called pb paste, which, which will use what is already copied uh, uh, over in the clipboard and then I have some inputs like font, font size and the sign type. I could even go further and for example I can also have an option to change the theme. If I want a different theme I can do that as well so I, I, I can copy it again and then I in my command prompt I, I can type a different uh, theme here and then if I go back and then we could see that now the theme has changed. Yeah. So it's very simple.